Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA Tournament. Today's game is between the Gonzaga Bulldogs and the Arizona Wildcats. And of course, the ever so popular tournament bracket, especially at this time of year. And there is the starting lineup for each team. We have two excellent players at the point guard position. They usually do a great job of getting your teammates involved. Something you should definitely keep an eye on, Gus. And while we have a moment, let's take a look at the keys for each of these teams today. And after all that anticipation, we're underway. On the left side. Jump shot. He missed it. Great inside control. The Wildcats in their four round one motion. Dribble drive, the ability to understand when to put it on the deck and when to screen. On the outside. Ooh, what a flush. Gort is known as a scorer and is expected to put up points for his squad. He's what you'd call a pure scorer. He can really score the hoop in bunches, Gus. Bell receives the ball. How about that elevation? Court handles the feed. He attempts the three. Squared up on the catch. Got his puppies in order. The Wildcats are playing their style and controlling the tempo. You know, Gus, it's all about going out there and executing. They've done a great job of taking care of tempo. Fired. And he can't get the bounce. Court receives the pass. No. Will he get back up with it? Can finish. We're at the three-minute mark. He shoots from the corner and answers. Top of the key. Ooh, athlete. That's a good pass. The choreographer. He's a pass-first type player with teammates who love to play with him, and why not? In the paint. He can't get it to go. Gets the rebound. They work the perimeter. Call for the foul. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really got to know your limitations, Gus. Another great second-year player here, Bill. Underclassmen are a big key for any successful program. He's still young, but the coach has him out there for a reason. He tends to make the right decisions out there, which means more playing time for him. A simple concept that applies to everyone, regardless of age or experience. It's good. may be in some trouble on the left side we are at the two-minute mark he shoots from the top the basket goes and one great play once again a case of being too aggressive defensively there's nothing wrong with being aggressive but you just gotta know when to back off and here's a look at the first year player well Gus it's certainly a big change but it doesn't mean he needs to feel out of place it's going to be up to him how hard he wants to work and how good he wants to get. The ball handler is in trouble. Way out on the right wing. 
And he lays it up and in. They work it into a double team in the post. Off the mark. Give me that. Takes the pass in the face. It's a call for the foul. He's an aggressive on defense here. He winds up with the foul. Why do you always get your hand reaching in? You get in trouble. The Wildcats are a poor free throw shooting team, coach. Boy, that is a bad characteristic to have. Misses. Pulls down the board. In the paint. Down the lane. Finger roll. So easy. Now they work it around the perimeter. He puts up the tray. Comes up empty from deep. Second team foul. Once again, a case of being too aggressive defensively. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive, but you just gotta know when to back off. At the line. Right where they want him, Raph. May be in some trouble. Oh, what a strip, coach. Top of the key. Up and in. Ha ha. With the big shot. And no! Stay tuned for the road to the final four. And a quick look at the team's stats for both teams. We can see here how both teams are doing with the keys they identify at the outset. Bill, what's going through these young guys' minds now? Here they are. They've worked all season long just to get to the inside position play at your pace it can really get them out of their comfort zone on the right side he gets it to fall Dunnigan handles the pass. And lays it in. Gordon receives the ball. Call for the foul. 
once again a case of being too aggressive defensively. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive, but you just gotta know when to back off. The Wildcats are not the greatest free throw shooting team. Anything free, you just have to convert, Gus. Got it from the free throw line. Coleman handles the feed. Clock shows 10. Two minutes left on the game clock. He tries to beat the clock. Good. They work the perimeter. He puts up the tread. It's almost like there's a lid on the basket. They're having a tough time with these rims. They can't get anything to drop. These guys have hit rock bottom. Their confidence at the moment couldn't be any lower. Way out on the right wing. He throws it up from downtown. We've got a timeout. More CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball right after this. And after the timeout, we're all set to pick things up. That's going to be a backcourt violation, Bill. I guess you would say the defense did their job. The three-pointer is worth checking out again. How about that? The defense relaxed and was able to convert deep. Bulldogs now running a zone offense. The impact very similar to their man-to-man. -man. They find the open guy. On the outside, under one minute remaining on the game clock. He shoots from the deep corner. He misses from long. Nice rejection. It's a call for the foul. A chance for two. Great attack. Misses. Not today. Out on the left wing. Fires. Buries it. And we're back ready to get things going again after the timeout. Bell receives the ball. The Bulldogs running their zone offense. Now this particular offense is extremely tough because they get into the high-low look. Now they'll line them up. Rims out. Pulls it down. A little clock management now, Gus. They have to foul in order to stop the clock. A chance for one and the bonus. Foul shot not good. And we're ready. And we're back. Gus Johnson along with Bill Raftery with you here, ready to inbound after the timeout. On the left side, he launches the bomb. Misses from long range. To the charity strike. Freebies in part. 
makes the foul shot. Makes the shot. Is being trapped. He lets it go. He may have gotten all ball. Receives the pass. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Good. Bulldogs running their zone offense. Very effective because of the power on the glass. It opens up that opportunity for tips. Coach, I think we saw a pretty good tournament game. Both teams competed hard. But that's the end of the season for one of these teams. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all of the little intangibles we consistently talk about. And that was the difference in this game. Well, folks, that concludes our coverage of NCAA basketball on CBS Sports. I'm Gus Johnson for Bill Raftery. Good night. <laughs>